Hello and welcome everyone. It is time to enter the Kumi Day. Remember, this is not a sport. You don't play fight. Okay, guys, we have Trevin Giles coming in as a plus 130 underdog versus Michael Morales coming in as a minus 150 favorite. I don't necessarily agree or disagree with these odds. There's still some undecided variables. Michael Morales is only 22 years old and is an up-and-coming prospect, while Trevin Giles is very experienced and he's had a lot of high-caliber fights. This one isn't on the main card, but I have to give a shout-out to one of my anticipated prospects in Michael Morales. First off, I have to make a point that Trevin Giles is coming down from middleweight to welterweight, and it makes sense. He was one of the smaller middleweights in there, and with his particular style, it doesn't do him any favors. He likes to keep his hands low and look for the counters, and he has elusive jab. Secondly, he has fought some serious competitors like Brendan Allen, Ryan Spann, Zach Cummings, Gerald Mearshart, James Krause, Roman Delize, Drikas Duplessis. So this is an extra exciting matchup because I really want to see just where Michael Morales is at in terms of skill. This will give us a good bit of MMA math to go off of. Both fighters are fairly well-rounded, but I'll have to give the grappling advantage to Michael Morales. He has really good trips and body lock takedowns. Trevin Giles has also shown to have a few deficiencies in submission defense, suffering a couple of submission losses to Gerald Mearshart and Zach Cummings by way of guillotine. Michael Morales is coming in with a 5-inch reach advantage, and this will serve him well against someone like Giles. Giles likes to keep his hands low, pull and slip for the counter, and this is going to be difficult for him to do with someone who has such a reach advantage. He's going to have to work very hard to get around Morales' jab. That being said, he has a very crisp jab that he throws from the hip, and I see it doing some work on the young Morales. I see Giles being slightly faster and more fluid in his boxing, but I do see him taking some big shots when his guard is down. I see Morales creating some openings by getting Giles to pull and slip early with hand fighting. And I do see him finding a home for his body kick while he's fighting the hands of Giles. Both fighters have quick and snappy kicks. Overall, I can't say who has a better striking. I think it's a bit more nuanced than that. I think Giles will have a slight advantage in the boxing, but I believe Morales will have more versatility and better defense. Giles takes a lot of risks out there with his particular style, and I see him eating some good shots. Ultimately, though, I'm going to go with Michael Morales via decision. I wouldn't be surprised if Morales finds something over the top while Giles is trying to pull and isn't far enough away, similar to the Drikas Duplessis fight, but I really do see this one going the distance. Stay tuned, because next week, we will be releasing daily videos covering the rest of our main card predictions of UFC 270. With that, I'll go ahead and wrap things up. If you like the content we're providing, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. If you disagree with our picks, make sure to berate us down in the comments below. You can also follow us on Instagram and Facebook, and you can even follow me personally on Twitter. Remember, this is not a sport if you don't play fight.